Today we're shooting medium format. Is that good? It's a wee bit windy out. Full disclosure before this video starts, I've only shot medium format once and it was yesterday. This is the Mamiya 645. It shoots 645. I checked this out from my school's media center right before this whole coronavirus pandemic hit. So it's gonna be mine for the next month until school opens up. Yesterday I shot through a roll of Portrait 400, the classic film. I don't know how the images turned out, I usually develop at school, but my school is shut down and all the labs in my area are shut down. So things are on standby. I'm actually filming this in March. I don't know when this is going up. Today, I'm gonna to be shooting some Fuji Color Pro 400H and then also a roll of black and white. I got the Ilford Delta 400. I actually haven't shot either of these film stocks before, so I'm super excited about that. I've heard good things about the color of Fuji and also the grain on this Delta. So. I think I'm gonna start with the Fuji color and uh, let's load that up right now. I just kind of realized for any passerby, uh, this angle doesn't look too good. We trust redheads. Bruh, I got a red beard, that's it. <laughs> Some guy just went across on his uh, motorcycle or dirt bike. I don't think I got the shot, but it was cool. Last frame. So I got the first roll done. Um, I think it went pretty well. It sounds like the roll got off the gears. I actually don't know. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna go home and try to fix this. I'm pumping gas right now and I feel dumb. On this camera, it doesn't go back to one once you rewind it or once you just advance forward. I actually don't know. Now that I feel dumb, let's take this out. All right, it is kind of getting dark, but honestly, it might be nice to shoot at night. I don't know. on blue, dude. I wish I had color. Once again, wishing I had color. I haven't shot black and white film in probably three or four months, so this is a little weird. I keep having to remind myself that I need to look at tones and, you know, not the color, but the sun came through a little bit. I think a train might be coming soon too. I brought the tripod out to take some night shots and I even brought the shutter release, but I forgot that this camera needs an adapter for the shutter release and that's at home. So. I'm just gonna have to be very careful when I press the shutter so I don't shake the camera and blur up my image. What do I think? 
think of the Mamiya 645. I think the Mamiya 645 was a great camera to introduce myself to medium format. I also think the camera is very easy to use. It's intuitive besides when you think you broke it just by <laughs> winding up the roll. But besides that little slip up, I don't really have many complaints about this camera. I did forget to mention that I was using the prism viewfinder instead of the waist level viewfinder on this camera. I think my time spent with this camera was very successful. I made a lot of good images, including the Portra 400 roll that I shot before filming this video. I used the built-in light meter for almost every shot in this video besides the few at the end that I took at night. With those, I used an external light meter just so I could adjust the settings accordingly to the scene since the lighting was a little more complex. But after getting the scans back, I think the light meter built into this camera would have done just fine at night. Which leads me in to one complaint I had during this entire process. And it's not Mamiya's fault, it's actually the lab I went to. The labs I usually go to, including the one at my school, are all shut down. So I took a recommendation from a friend and sent my film off to get developed at a lab that I've never been to before. And the scans I got back did not match the negatives one bit. There was little to no quality or detail within the scans. Also, unfortunately, about 15% of each frame was missing due to a weird crop that they put on each image. If I had to guess, I think they had the scanning software set up incorrectly, thinking that I was shooting 6x7 as opposed to 6 4, 5 that being said, all of my images were just cropped in a little bit, which kind of sucks because it changed the composition on some of the images quite drastically. I will say with the scans that I got, I'm really impressed with the Ilford Delta 400. I think the black and white shots, despite me kind of being mad that I was shooting in black and white, turned out really well. It's definitely a film stock that I'm going to use in the future, as opposed to the Fuji 400H. And given that the scans were bad, I was wasn't impressed with the color or the grain that I got on any of these images. That being said, I think there were still some very successful images made with the color roll, but that's besides the point. I had a lot of fun shooting with the Mamiya 645. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, or concerns. You can hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I'm on it all. All my links will be in the description, and that's all I have. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay humble. Peace.